Yo, what is going on ninjas? Logic here with another Ninjala video and today we're going to be discussing the Ninja Pass for Season 3. We're going to be talking about whether you should buy it or whether you shouldn't. But before we get into that, I just wanted to talk about the lack of videos. So we had the tournament this past weekend, so I wasn't able to push out videos like I wanted to, but that's okay. This week it should be better just because I'll be better on time and better on time management. So awesome on that. And another thing too, if you uh, participated in the tournament, the videos of your match will be uploaded soon. I just got to kind of edit those out and make them nice and, you know, nice and clean and enjoyable to watch so without wasting any more time let's get into this ninja pass season three whether you should buy and whether if you should so let's get into this ninja pass all the perks and all the cons the main thing we have to talk about first is how much jolly we get compared to the free version and the paid version if you don't end up buying the pass immediately you only get 200 free jala which honestly that's that's not too bad if you're getting it completely for free oh and speaking of free jala remember when season 3 launched and all our loadouts or kits got destroyed in the process well the play ninjala twitter account said that we will be compensated for this with free jala in the coming days so that's really good news and i was a little sad when all my favorites had got destroyed i wasn't expecting it at all i was just like oh my goodness but uh we're getting free jala so it's it's all good I didn't really expect them to do this they didn't have to do this like I just remade everything but it's awesome that they are also I want to mention that if you log on every day up until November 5th you'll get free Jala which could go into saving for the ninja pass so think about that that is real cool of them but if you're low on cash or just a free-to-play ninjala player these are some good ways to get Jala completely for free if you do end up buying the pass you'll end up getting 1250 Jala plus the extra 200 free Jala from the pass would make it 1,450 Jala altogether. That is a lot of Jala, that's awesome. If you're a smart spender, that would give you an excess 500 Jala to spend, and this isn't including the free Jala we're gonna get for logging in, or the one we're gonna be compensated for for the whole disappearing kits issue. I know lots of people like to not spend some of their Jala so they can save for the next Ninja Pass for next season, which is really smart to do. Like if you're able to do that, awesome. You end up never having to pull out real money, but also have to stay on a strict budget when it comes to spending Jala, you only get so much free Jala. Okay, so now that we've discussed how much Jala we get, let's move on to bronze, silver, and gold medals. In season three Ninja Pass, if you complete it of course, you will receive 410 gold medals in the free version of the Ninja Pass and 105 for the paid version of the Ninja Pass, all together totaling out to be 515 gold medals. Okay, so now let's add up the silver medals next. You'll get a grand total of 1,320 free silver medals from the Ninja Pass, if you complete the whole thing of course, and if you buy the Ninja Pass you'll get an extra 400 silver medals altogether, totaling out to be 1,720. And I hope you guys are starting to notice a trend with the Ninja Pass, it seems like you actually get more medals from the free version of the pass than you do the paid version. And honestly, this is no coincidence, it comes in handy big time. Okay, so up up next are bronze medals for completing the free version of the ninja pass you'll receive 4,300 bronze medals if you get the paid version of the ninja pass you'll get an additional 1,150 bronze medals totaling out to be 5,450 which is a ton of bronze medals even if you don't factor the paid ones in that is huge when it comes to medals for the ninja pass they really help out free to play players and I love to see that not a lot of games are doing that so you gotta put some respect on it. When it comes to outfits in the Ninja Pass Season 3, we only get five outfits. The outfits themselves are pretty cool. I especially like the Cyberpunk jacket, probably one of the best ones in my opinion. It does seem like we got less outfits this season than we did in Season 1 and 2, and that is completely fine. But like I said, the Cyberpunk jacket stands out the most for me, but the Tier 100 Dragoon Final Fantasy armor is also a banger, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. So when 
when we look at the stickers in the Ninja Pass 3, we're getting a lot of Dragon S stickers, which makes sense. It is a dragon themed season after all. But more so, we're getting festive stickers. And I know not everyone does Halloween or even Christmas or the holidays or even New Year's, but I can really appreciate these holiday stickers, these festive stickers they're giving us in the Ninja Pass season three. They're really cool and not a lot of games really do that. The emote themselves are pretty amazing and unique. They have two dancing emotes that really stand out and are hilarious to me at least. I especially like the robot dance. I don't know why, but I just kind of love those in games where they just make us do like the crazy robot dance and just kind of, you know, it's it's fun. It's fun. I, I love it. We also got five Epon animations in this pass too. Some of them are festive while the others are dragon themed like the pass itself. I really like the Halloween inspired one. That's probably one of my favorite Epon animations in the Ninja Pass. It just comes out with this hand and it kind of grabs the Epon. Like it's, it's real cool. It's real cool. They did a good job with these Epon animations in the pass. Another thing about buying the Ninja Pass this time around is you get infinite skins, permanent weapon skins. Dude, do you know how long I've been asking for this? It, it's only been since season one, but still like, ah, I'm so ready for that. Like that on its own is more than enough reason to get the pass. When Ninjala gets to like season five or season six, I'm gonna be the old, OG Ninjala Boomer in the back. I'm gonna be like, back in my day, we didn't have permanent skins. You had to use it and, and that was it. It's such a good feature and I'm happy it's here. All in all, I think this pass features some great outfits. Maybe not a lot of quantity, but for sure quality. And I can appreciate that as well. The emotes provide a certain flavor that I can really vibe with and I can definitely see myself using all of them, especially the cheer one. Don't, don't sleep on the cheer one. And I'll mention it again permanent weapon skins. This alone makes the pass worth it and you should definitely get it solely because of that. Just being able to customize your weapon to match with your own outfit is a big, big, huge plus for me and changes the game dramatically. And you gotta think too, like we're getting a lot of free Jala this season, more so than ever than any other season. Like we're getting Jala just for logging in. I think altogether, if we log in every single day, it totals out to be 1,100 Jala. And then on top of that, we're getting compensation for the favorites or kit era that happened during the update to season three. So like, that's probably all together gonna be like 1200 Jala. That is awesome, dude. And just with that alone, you can get the pass. So it's super worth. So before we end the video today, you know we gotta do a Ninjala fashion showcase. You already know. So today's winner is my man T-Bite. Look at this ninja. T-Bite knows how to dress his ninja from bottom to top. First of all, check out the cool, slick, white shades. That's how I know my man T-Bite has got some swag. And on top of already having white glasses, T-Bite also has another pair of sunglasses up top. Just in case, you gotta suspect it. Not only is T-Bite a master of ninja fashion, but also he'd be slam dunking all fools in the court as you can see. Amazing job on these screenshots, T-Bite. I love going through them and I can't wait to see more of your ninja. If you don't already know about T-Bite, he is one of the few Ninjala content creators out there in the world on YouTube. Go give him a look. I would appreciate if y'all showed him the same love y'all showed me and sub to his channel. With that being said, if you wanna be featured on the Ninjala Fashion Showcase, all you gotta do is hop in my DMs on Twitter and or Instagram with your Ninjala screenshot or post your pictures in the dedicated Ninjala Fashion Showcase channel on my personal Discord. It's that easy. Well, that's all the time I have today. What do you guys think of the Season 3 Battle Pass or Ninja Pass? Are permanent skins enough to make you buy the Ninja Pass? Let me know down below. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it really helps your boy out. And if you would like to see more content like this in the future, consider hitting that subscribe button. This has been Logic, and I will see you in the next chapter.